But we begin tonight with that double dose of danger in Wyandotte as po a police chase with two stolen cars going through the streets of Wyandotte. We thank you so much for joining us for 7 Action News at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Mike Duffy. Now, these incidents all played out on Goddard Road last Thursday. Wyandotte police tell us that high speed chases are becoming a major problem, but rarely do they have two at the same time. 7 Action News reporter Sarah Michaels is in Wyandotte with how this all started and the change their chief is now asking for. Around 3.45 a.m. on August 31st, a Wyandotte police officer spotted a stolen car heading down Goddard here. When the officer attempted to stop that car, well, that's when things accelerated, literally. Uh, we want to go for you. So they get a call 400 block of 4th Street that we just had a car stolen. Wyandotte Police Chief Archie Hamilton is showing me the dash cam footage of what would become two high speed police chases Thursday. This other car that's riding with the stolen car is a stolen car itself. It's going to purposely interfere and get in front of him to hold the police officer back while the other car accelerates to get away. And this is also common practice. In the video, you can see the officer maneuver around the interfering car to chase the stolen vehicle. Moments later, another cop would begin to chase that car that interfered, also a stolen vehicle. Both cars were taken from Wyandotte residents. High speed pursuits over the last probably two to three years are up. And now, you know, this is anecdotal, the percentage I'm going to give you, but I'm going to say it's up a thousand percent. We have eight high speed pursuits in one day just here in the city of Wyandotte. The two suspects in the first car finally jump out and run away on foot, letting the car roll onto a person's property. The two suspects in the second car also jump out and run away on foot. Of the four suspects, one was apprehended and arrested. Chief Hamilton says many were put at risk. There's many people out there that have citizens that have seen police pursuits go down their street. They've seen them, you know, zip by them, nearly hit them, and they will tell you how scary it was because it's extremely dangerous. Michael Dyson is a ship driver in Wyandotte. Constantly on the road, he, like many locals, says he's very familiar with police chases. I think the last high-speed chase that I seen was probably about a month ago. He tells us to adjust. He's extra careful with his own car. Make sure to stay away from speeding drivers. But Chief Hamilton says this is a problem drivers shouldn't have to adjust to. Legislation should. He'd like to see a mandatory prison sentence of two years for fleeing from police in a vehicle. High-speed pursuits are out of control. And the reason why, and crime's out of control. And the reason why is because the criminals know there's no consequence from running from the police. Reporting in Wind Up, I'm Sarah Michaels for 7 Action News. Okay, Sarah, some dangerous situations when that happens.